Yeah, man, you tapped in with BSC Ziggy, man. I'm tapped in with Nola Zine, man. I'm in the Nola right now, man. 2515 shit, man. Let's do it. So, tell everybody, actually, I mean, where you from? From Mobile, Alabama, man. Right down the way, man. And so, for people who don't know, tell them, you know, they behind go down. I'm like out there, you know. Hey, I'm like Mobile. Mo Mobile, like a real, like, it's like a New Orleans, Atlanta type of vibe, man. You know, it's like, it's not as country people gonna think, you know what I'm saying? Dirt roads and all that shit. Like, we real, like, we turnt, man. Like, you just gotta come get your own. You know, we got the Mardi Gras down there. We, like, we got a lot of shit going on down there. Like, we jumping. And, you, you know, it's a lot of dangerous shit going on, too. That's in every city. You know, but we popping it down there, too. Don't underestimate us country niggas. And our bitches bad. We got the baddest bitches in the world. No disrespect to the, to the NOLA. Y'all got some, too. But it's Mobile women, baddest, man. Come get you one, man. So, you know, I got to talk about shit. Because, you know, I've been seeing Alabama <laughs> talk this shit about you. If they Mardi Gras yeah, being man. better than New Orleans Mardi Gras. I'm saying, so I like, want you to tell me how it is. Like... I, I, I experienced both, you know what I'm saying? I, I rock with both. It's just like, we be more based on the, like, the, we started, like, Mardi Gras history started in Mobile versus, like, they be feeling like some people from the NOLA take credit. You feel me? For starting. But y'all shit, y'all got, you know, a bigger city. Y'all shit popping too. And it shouldn't be no beef about it, you know what I'm saying? We still got our shit going on too, but, like, our shit just. Like a big ass block party, man. Like a big family. So you talking about shit. Mardi Gras actually, yeah. actual date? Yeah. Okay. So like, think that's the difference, cause like, we don't celebrate Mardi Gras just for one day. We celebrate Mardi Gras for like two weeks. Oh, we do so too. We experience our, that. Our so Mardi Gras two weeks. Okay. Yeah, no, 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 no. It's the experience. We of saying Mardi that we started yeah. it on a certain date. Day. Like, and like you know, seventeen, whatever. It, it, it feel like it's you know, it was Mobile, it was, it was Alabama shit. Yeah. Gotcha. Mobile shit. Yeah. We popping though, man. We we barely got shit, man. Let us get something, man. Y'all got. Let's have money, man. Team, NFL team. Yeah, but the world, you know, but the world, you no. Know, yeah, that's what I'm saying. And when they think of Mardi Gras, they think of New Orleans. Right, but it started in. Exactly, man. They don't, they don't, just because they think of y'all, don't mean it started them, man. But we fuck and, with y'all. But it's kind of the reason why people from New Orleans don't claim Louisiana. Right. Because New Orleans was here first. For real? And, yeah. I ain't know that. New though. Orleans is over 300 years. Oh, yeah, and Louisiana, I like 200 something years. I didn't know that. Yeah, so you you would never hear nobody from New Orleans say, man, I'm from Louisiana. Yeah. They don't even say they're from New Orleans, Louisiana. They say from New Orleans. Louisiana was involved in some type of trade or some shit. Yeah, it? Louisiana, a whole lot. But I'm just saying, in general, New Orleans was here before Louisiana was ever existed. Oh, damn. It was like New though. Orleans and I think it was, I mean, Nacogdoche. That's crazy. But like, it was the own place before Louisiana was built as a state. That's crazy. So, like, you would never hear a person from New Orleans say, man, I'm from Louisiana. So you ain't from Louisiana? Well, we know we from Louisiana, but we claim New Orleans. All right, bet. bet. Yeah, yeah. Y'all like, own, y'all own shit. Yeah, yeah, but it's a, it's like an island, but it's like it's crazy because you, and because we actually kind of lose a lot, and we're not claiming the whole Louisiana. Right, right. Because like, and that would kind of um separates the Baton Rouges and the, and the Shreveport because we don't really claim Louisiana. Louisiana how we supposed to? Yeah. That, like we supposed to claim it. But we, man, like, man, I'm from New Orleans. Yeah, we, we got our own shit. And going you know, on. in like Baton Rouge, Streetport, and other cities, like, hey, man, the boy from the city. Yeah. And we look at everybody else, everybody, they country, boy. Yeah. But the whole time, <laughs> hey, but we really country too. But like, in our mind, we, hey, but we not country because we don't have no trees everywhere. Yeah, we feel like we, we think, the city. That's how we think, though. But we're the same way. Right. Oh, God, we the same way. Yeah, we think that we got the same mind frame. Gotcha. We so, feel like we in like no other city in Alabama. Just how y'all feel. Gotcha. And, you know, it be like right now, it be like, you know, it be just city popping. Like music, artists, everything growing. Yeah. So, like, do you feel like, you know, it like Mobile, like music scene is actually growing now? Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. Like, and they doing it. Like, shout out to the young niggas, man. You know what I'm saying? Rollo, Blue, Cap, Flo, Millie. Like, they just, they got a lot popping off right now in Mobile, man. Like, and they, they bring a lot of attention. You know what I'm saying? And and that's the best thing going for us. Like, we got a lot of talent down there, too. Like, we get overlooked because we're a small city, you know what I'm saying? But shit popping, man. I'm next. Shit popping, man. Shit popping. We got Lick. And we got so many artists. Yavo. 
Yeah, we're working, huh? Yeah, we working. Yeah. Gotcha. So, how did you come up actually, actually on that with your rap name? Shit, I don't, man, I don't even know, man. I think we was in the studio one time. Then before I started rapping, and like I was just on some hustling shit, like BSC. I like it was Bell Scales and Clientele. You feel me? That what it stand for. And I was just. No one says, huh? Yeah, man. That's all, I, that's all I knew at the time. Bell, scales, and clientele. Gotcha. You ain't one of them three, you weren't even in my life. <laughs> oh, God. So, so tell us, actually, I'm like, what's one on the average day like for you? Man, I be with my churn, man. Like, before I had my kid, man, I did be living crazy, man. Just blowing money, fucking hoes, 24 7, shit like that. But I got down, I got them churn. I got them kids coming my life. Down. Yeah, that shit slowed down. But like, you know, I still do my shit with my rap shit, you know what I'm saying? As far as you know, I gotta take care of my kids, but like that what I do on the daily though, bro. I just fuck with my children, man. I've been to prison too many times. I don't fuck with niggas like that, you know what I'm saying? Like niggas take you down here. I know my kids ain't gonna take me under. And that's something I gotta, you know what I'm saying? That's my legacy. So I gotta raise that. A lot of people don't realize, you know, if like prison actually show you like, you know, you going in that bitch by yourself. It's oh, the same yeah. way you go you go come in this world, leave in this world, yeah. same way you're going in prison. <laughs> yeah, by like yourself. even if you went there with some even if you had some like co-defendants, you still in that bitch by yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking yeah. right. And I'm thinking you know, even if you got a thousand friends, you in there by yourself. Right. And right. like people be just out here in the streets just and be living their life like, you know, if they got sequels. Yeah. Like I tell people, you know you go on them drills. Sometimes, you know, you might not, you might not make it. You might yeah, die. Right. Or you might catch life if you get caught. Yeah. Like, it's One real. Or the other. Yeah, it's real. One or the other. You don't get away every time. Yeah. Somebody gonna fold. <laughs> For real, it's always one nigga. Man, like, it's always one. So, like. Then it's usually be the person if, that you didn't expect. That you didn't expect. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, you like, know, like, I got to do for life, right? Huh? You know, I just came home off a of life sentence, right? No, I didn't. Yeah, like, I, I, I beat it in 2020. Yeah, I got sentenced to life in Alabama. You can look it up, though. Like I got seen this in Alabama, but I'm finna show you. I ain't bullshit. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me five seconds. Give me five seconds. Give me five seconds. And I was actually serving life too. You know what I'm saying? See this right here? Chase Deary, wins drug trafficking case. That's me, man. Hold on, let me go to. It. 2020. Also, oh, and so you was actually yeah, I was serving like during, during the pandemic. Yeah, I was serving. I was in. Yeah. I was in prison. Was in prison. I won. I won on the appeal. You know what I'm saying? That's Brought me back home. And so let's bring it back to that day. You know, and that's a different mind frame, mind state of him. You know, a judge tell you what you got life. You know, me right here. They beat it. See me up there looking smiling like a like a, like a, like a happy ass nigga. Gotcha, like, right there. Yeah, 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 nigga, I don't show my teeth that much. I had <laughs> smiling like a motherfucker. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. It's so the right, right way, too. No telling, no nothing. Like, I took the life center. You, you came on the right way. Yeah, you got to know what you, when you step off in any game, you got to know how to play it and understand, like, shit, what come with it. Yeah. I understood what come with that shit, and I, I accepted what came with it. I ain't tell on the soul. And by the grace of God, goddamn. You beat it. I beat it the right way, you know what I'm saying? So, and I ain't do nothing but two and a half years on it. Make my story even harder. Like, I ain't, and that's a blessing. Yeah, I don't know. Nobody in my neighborhood, we don't know people who beat life sentences. Like, I got three, four, five, six homeboys got life sentences. I know a few people beat it, but it wasn't easy. Yeah. It ain't easy. Yeah. But I wanted to, you know, kind of like, you know, give a little advice to, you know, people that watching who don't know no better. Because, like, it's a different mind frame when you're like a judge. I mean, sentence you, like, to any amount of years. But, like, here in life, it's a, it's a whole different mind frame you got to yeah. jump into. I mean, like, I can't really say that. Like, if, if when he said it, like, when the judge said it did anything to me, it was like, your lawyer tell you before, hand anyway, like, what you facing, what you finna go, hey, look, man, hey, this one finna be the outcome. Niggas be acting like they don't be knowing, man. Your lawyer tell you, if you got a, a paid lawyer like I did, like, Chase Dearman, like, he... He let me know like what we were facing, but he also let me know like, hey, we can file an appeal for this right here. We can file an appeal for this right here. We're gonna have you home. He told me that. He said, don't be scared of that life sentence. He's like, it just, I'm gonna have you home. He gave me real hope. Like, we went in there with our, we took the time. Like, I filed an appeal. 
two years later, I shit, I was at. That day in prison, though, when they told me, oh, man, I was happy as shit. Like, I ain't had life without, so like a week before that, like a week before, like, I had just got my, uh, my parole, like my parole date on the life sentence, you know what I'm saying? So, if you ain't got life without, you still get a parole date, if, if you don't know. But my life, my uh, parole date was 10 years from the day I got it. So I was like, God damn, I got to do 10 more years in this bitch. <laughs> you feel me? I was mad as fuck that whole week. Man, the next Friday after that, I found out I was going home, man. Like, that shit, like, I don't know. Like, that shit was like, I ain't even believe that shit. Some days, I still don't believe that shit. Man, I'm really home. Yeah, like, you know, I'm from Alabama, bro. Like, niggas ain't, you know what I'm saying? I know it's hard down south for everybody, but, bro, if you from Alabama, bro, like, this shit is, like, different. Like, so it's like, it, you get life doing it. Damn like, I'm like, impossible to come home, man. Yeah, I have a life sentence. You know, people make parole on life, but you on, you still on parole. For life, you know what I'm saying? Like you, are, I mean, you, you ain't on nothing. Yeah, I ain't on nothing. Yeah, I ain't on you nothing. You can travel in you know, Yeah, I can travel. And be the second chance at life. Yeah, man, for sure. Like so, like I don't play with that, man. Like if there's anything, gonna be on my own accord. Man, I be with my kids. You know, I be with my homeboy doing music shit, maneuver. Gotcha. So you know, coming home. I'm like, what was your? I'm like mind frame. Like you know. If did anything change, like how you was moving, actually before, or anything like that? Uh, I, don't, I don't think I was out of touch that long, you know what I'm saying? I ain't do nothing for two and a half years on it. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, but you still come home with a plan, like, man, oh, yeah, I can't yeah, let yeah. this happen again. Yeah, like, I don't even lie, bro. Like, my first plan was like, man, fuck this shit. I'm going to get out and do whatever I got to do. But, like, until you just actually get out and see that shit, it's like, you don't even know. Your, all your plans change, for real, for real. Like, you just got to figure out who that for you. Like, you see different people coming back around you like when you get a life shit two years niggas be homegirls and bitches be i mean you know what i'm saying homeboys and girls be leaving you quick so you know what niggas say life boom oh they oh they were gone shit cheating that same day man they knew i was finna get life them niggas were gone before i even got sentenced to life like nigga, you know what i'm saying so to come home and see them same niggas you know you know what I'm saying? They trying to flip it like they were fucking with you and all this. They were rooting for you to come home and all that shit. Now, you nigga left a nigga high and dry. So, like, my plans changed all around. Like, I was going to fuck with certain people. And if I would ever get out and just, I just started seeing people for who they is and just, that shit changed your plans, man. I ain't going to lie, but if they actually, you know, just, I'm like, change the whole, better, I'm like, mindset, too. Because yeah, it's, it's really like, better, damn, though. man. And I thought dude was solid. Yeah. As soon as they, you know, and like as soon as the as soon as the um, judge you know dropped the hammer, you was gone. You gone. Yeah. Like, like you like man, that nigga ain't coming home. These niggas just automatically yeah, just, see, they just wrote you off. The niggas in my city know like they know I don't, if I don't like I don't fuck with you, I don't fuck with you. Like I'ma let you know. You know, ain't nothing for me to start hanging with a nigga once he keep on doing like decoy shit, lame shit. You show me something that I ain't just something that I don't stand on. Like niggas around me gotta stand on the same principles I stand on, like. You know what I'm saying? Like, and there's people out there like me, so I can keep on shuffling. Like, nigga, if you ain't fuck you, nigga. There's somebody out here like me. Somebody understand me. That's how I just move. I don't want to be wrong. Number solid people. Loyalty. People who just want to take care of their family, get some money, man. This, this shit ain't killing niggas ain't nothing, man. That shit. <laughs> niggas been doing that since the beginning of the time, man. I always tell people, man. Hey, but it's easy to actually kill somebody. Yeah, that shit ain't nothing. Hey, but the things like, are you ready to take the consequences that come with it? And yeah. I ain't talking about just jail. Yeah, you like you know, cause like, like sleep every night. Yeah, because a lot country. of people never even really experience the real essence of the streets. Yeah, like you know, like they got certain I'm like caliber of people out here. Hey, but once you kill them, you gotta be for the rest of your life. Yeah, you gotta deal with. You don't know who come behind that. Yeah, even when you go to jail, you don't know who come behind yeah. that. So like, soon as you make that decision to pull that trigger, I always tell people you better be a man. Yeah, stand up like a man. man. Yeah. 10 years from now, 15 years, you never know. Like You don't know what the kids is. Yeah, 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 I can only imagine. Yeah, you made it. Yeah, if you made your bed, you lay in it, you better be ready for it. If you did something to my daddy, man, I would have thought, man, who? Shit, I would have been on the same. So you're right. You're most definitely right. You never know what somebody else thinking. Right? So, so you got to be ready for that. Being in the music industry for a while, now tell us what do you enjoy most about it and like what do you hate about it? Man, I, just, I hate just the cap shit, man. You know, just the. the the ordinary cap shit everybody know like bigger artists hold they nuts on smaller artists uh bigger artists want to do this other song with bigger artists like uh, shit like that I don't, I don't i don't i don't really like shit like that like 
There's too many niggas that's hard. There's too much money out here for y'all niggas that's be keep on in the same circle. You know what I'm saying? Like, I be feeling like when you get in a certain position in this industry, like you can't forget the family that you were really there for you before then. Like, a lot of niggas go create new families after they make it and leave that shit to other people. So, like, I hate the industry, like, the way it changed you. You know what I'm saying? As a person. That shit changed a lot of people as a person. That money. But, like, I'm glad I hustled. And I ain't had the most money in the world, but I had a shitload of money before I ever started rapping, you know what I'm saying? Like, out the street. So, like, I feel like I handled that shit different. But what I like about it, I like the children that come up to me and be like, man, this song did something to me, or, you know what I'm saying? A, a fan just really, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what really got down. And I love performing, you know what I'm saying? I love when, the, when, them, when them ladies be on me bad. You feel me? Like, but I love, I fuck with the music, though, man. Like, Wayne, my favorite artist. You know what I'm, I'm in New Orleans right now. Lil Wayne, my favorite artist. That's like the only nigga I want to do a song with for real. So, fuck with me. You said it there. <laughs> fuck with me, Weezy. <laughs> so, so tell everyone, actually, actually, on, actually, on like, what's next for you? Oh, I got a tape dropping. Oh, it called a free tape. Like all my tapes named like basically after me getting out of jail. They were called a Appeal One, Two, and Three. They all on uh our distros, man. The Appeal One, Two, and Three, but like. This tape right here called a free tape. And like, it's just like me just basically like saying like, I'm free, you know what I'm saying? Like all this shit all with behind me. Like I gave y'all three tapes or a whole rundown of how my cases went, whole storyline. And like, this just the last one before I just bury that shit and go to something else. So like, I'm dropping some shit like uh, late May, probably around June or something. Called a free tape. Make sure y'all be, be looking out for that shit. Bangers on there, that Rollo on there. That probably be my only feature beside my bros, man. Bell, CTC Bell, my motherfucking bro Spank, and that's probably it on my tape, man. Like that whole gang, man. Whole gang, Northside, BSC shit, man. Gotcha. And also, uh, but last but not least, tell the world, I'm like, what can they find you on social media and like everywhere else? Oh, BSC underscore Ziggy on all platform, bro. BSC underscore Ziggy, all platform, all distros, man. G-way shit, man. If you ain't doing an interview with Nola Zine, what you doing an interview for?